Welcome to Lowkey PD. In this tutorial, we're going to explore how to add building blocks to your Google Docs. Now, a building block is a lot like a template, only it's much easier to use, much easier to access, much easier to update when you want to make changes. Uh, it really does streamline any workflows that you may have that use templates. So, let me give you an example of the building blocks that are automatically available. So, I'm going to go to Insert scroll down to building blocks you can add meeting notes an email draft calendar event draft here's some more specific ones uh, product roadmap um, not gonna worry about those uh, but let's say we wanted to add meeting notes uh, we're having a meeting with our department we want notes I click on meeting notes pick the meeting uh, we'll just go pay drums because that's basic all right, so notice it inserts content for me. This is a smart chip for a date. This is the smart chip for the event. And it already has this formatting in here. Okay, who are the attendees? A place to write notes, action items for people to do. You can even attach the meeting notes to the event if you want. Uh, so what we have here is we've sort of got this structure that we might expect for meeting notes. And if I just add that building blocks, it just inserts that st structure for me and I can take advantage of it. There are some other ones. Uh, if I go to building blocks, uh, let's say we want to add a calendar event. All right, so now I can say, oh, let's call this sample event. It's got smart chips in here, people you would invite. Hover over those. You can add them as, from your contact list, add a start time, end time, a location, a description. Uh, you can even preview this in your Google Calendar. So this will open up the calendar event editing page like this, which is you might be more familiar with if you're familiar with Google Calendar. And then if everything looks right and you want to create this, you can just click save and it will add it to your calendar. All right, but that is not really the power of these building blocks. The real power is down here, custom building block. And I'm going to show you how that would work. So let's say uh, I write a lot of tests, and they're multiple, and I have a lot of multiple choice questions. So enter the multiple choice question here, and then I'm going to have a choice A, a choice B, a choice C, and a choice D. All right, so what I have here is before I've actually entered uh, information for this question, I have a structure for my building block. All right, so I'm going to select this. This is now going to be my template for multiple choice questions. Space to write the question and four choices, A, B, C, and D. All right, so insert, and I'm going to go to custom building block, and because I already have it saved, I'm just going to click on, or selected, new custom building block, save, and then I get to name it. All right, so I'm going to aim this, or name this multiple choice question. Description, I'll use the terminology building block for multiple choice question. So now what this has done is it's basically created for me this tiny little template that I can use whenever I want to add a multiple choice question to a document or a quiz or a test or whatever. And here's how I would do that. Next time you're in a Google Doc, insert an at symbol. So shift two, and notice this little menu pops up. And it gives you the option to add a bunch of different things. Right? I just named this multiple choice question. So I'm going to keep typing MC and now I have multiple choice question. I might have another one of these that I stored from somewhere else. So I click on that and now it gives me all that text very quickly. And I can just do the same every time I want to add a multiple choice question. And you can do the same thing for essay questions. You can even provide uh, like a paragraph style where the paragraph is inside of a box and get some formatting options that are automatically included anytime you ask an essay question or like a short answer question uh, on a test. You can even do this for uh, 
test questions where you expect a student to define a word and then maybe use it in a sentence. Uh, basically, all you have to do is design like one question in the format that you want and then save that as a building block and then you can quickly access that uh, pretty much anytime you want. All right, so this at symbol, uh, this works for a lot of things. If I add an at symbol, let's say I want to add a table, but I, I don't really use documents a lot. I'm not really sure where I would find this. I can just start typing table. And then, oh, table is one of the choices. So I click on that, and then I just choose the dimensions of the table that I want. And then it inserts the table from the at command. And this will work with pretty much every command in those menus at the top. If you know what you want and you're not really sure where it is, you can just insert that at symbol and then start typing the first few letters of what it is that you want. This works for tables, formatting, inserting files, smart chips, and things like that. Uh, it's a really powerful new, new tool that Google has added to Google Docs. A lot of functionality associated with that little symbol now.